So let's talk about uh, second order polynomials with complex roots. So again, uh, going back to our quadratic formula, ax squared plus bx plus c. Now if b squared minus 4ac, ac gives us less than 0, then we will have a complex root. Okay, now how would that look like on the Cartesian coordinates? Would be like um, like this, where the curve does not pass through the x-axis. Okay, so the p of this is called px or fx. Or okay, so this does doesn't cross with the uh, the x-axis. Okay, so here's an example of a quadratic with with a complex root, z square uh, minus six z plus eleven. Okay, now we can use the com complete the square method to solve this. Okay, so again we drop the square, and then we half this number. We half this number, and we don't need the the x. Okay, sorry the z. So that would be minus three whole thing squared plus 11 but I have to minus the square of this term here I have to minus the square of this term so it's minus 3 square okay equals 0 so let's do some rearranging and we'll get um, we'll get equals to negative 2 okay and therefore z minus 3 is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 2. Now, the square root of negative 2, I can, I can split them up into the square root of 2 multiplied by the square root of negative 1. Now, the square root of negative 1, that would just be, uh, that would just be i, okay? So, therefore, we can say that z is equal to 3 plus or minus 2i. Okay, now this is the uh, what I talked about uh, last lecture, the conjugate pair. This is my conjugate pair. So z1 is equal to 3 plus 2i. That's my first root. My second root will be 3 minus uh, 2i. So can you guys see that um, if whenever you have a complex root, the other root has to be or the conjugate root has to be um, another solution to the quadratic. Okay, so I just want to prove to you guys now that from from this, from these roots here, uh, z1 and z2, I can get back uh, the formula as it started with. So this one. Okay, now this skill is very important. Okay, so let's do it. So we have z1 is equals to 3 plus 2i and then z2 is equals to 3 minus 2i okay now we need to put them back into a factor form so that will be z uh, minus 3 plus 2i and then multiply by z2 minus 3 minus 2i equals 0 okay so we need to expand the bracket, okay? So that will be z square. So this this goes this goes here, which gives me the z square, and then goes here, z minus three minus two i z, okay. And then minus three plus two i z, and then plus three plus two i. 3 minus 2i. Okay, now that will simplify to uh, the 3 remains, so that's uh, negative 6z, and then these two are gone. So that will be uh, plus these two, uh, this, the product of these two, that would just be 3 squared plus 2 squared. No, not to the fourth, to the two. Okay, so that will be plus three square plus two square. So that will be therefore 
z squared minus 6z plus 11 gives me 0. Okay, so this step is very important, okay? The, the way that you, you get back your original formula from your root to your original formula is very important. Uh, when, when you so when you're trying to solve for roots okay uh, let's do another example yeah so 2z square minus 6z plus 5 gives me 0 now again when I whenever I'm using the complete the square method I have to drop away the coefficient uh, in front of the x square which is this one and by doing that I need to go I need to divide everything by 2 Okay, so that will be z, that will be z square minus three z plus five over two equals zero. Okay, and I'll just just proceed with the original uh, method of completing completing the square. So that will be z minus three over two square plus five over two minus the square of this number. Remember, so that will be nine over four equals zero. Okay, now so that will be what? So that will be z minus 3 over 2 square plus 1 over 4 equals to 0. Okay, so going back, so take this to the other side. So z minus 3 over 2 is equals to uh, negative 1 over 4. So therefore z is equals to 3 over 2 plus or minus. Um, 1 over 2i. Another way to say that is just 3 plus i over 2, or plus or minus i. Okay, so again, as you can see, we have a conjugate pair. Conjugate pair. So what is the conjugate pair? So z1 would be 3 plus i over 2, and then there will be 3 minus i over 2. Okay, or you can express it uh, this way, 3 over 2 plus i over 2, or for this one, that's 3 over 2 minus i over 2. Okay, guys, um, keep, keep on practicing. Um, completing the square method is very important. Uh, that will allow you to quickly calculate uh, the roots uh, in the exam, so it saves you a lot of time. So uh, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment on the discussion board and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Cool, I'll see you guys in the next lecture.